Hello everyone, this is Dr. Pratyusha Chawa from Team MDS Conquer. Let's go to part 8 of NEET MDS 2025 recall. Starting with the first question. In which condition profile access is required prior to dental treatment to decrease the chances of infective endocarditis? This is one of the major uh, topic that we have discussed multiple times in pharma, in general medicine as well and the importance of getting questions from this like when we take our classes we tell you there are certain topics even if you wake even if we wake you up in the middle of the night, you should be able to give us the correct answer. One such topic is the antibiotic prophylaxis. Now, he is not asked you commonly what is the drug of choice or how many milligrams you give, how many hours before the procedure. Okay, if he is allergic to Amox, what will you give? Those are the general questions that they'll ask you. Now, he asked you the indication of it. Okay, same question was asked in NEED 2023 also. That, that question has been discussed multiple times in our discussion forums, right? So, the options are prosthetic valve, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, mitral valve repair and isolated mitral valve prolapse. Yes, the answer for this is prosthetic cardiac valve. Okay, it is there in the indication. It has been discussed multiple times in our discussion as well. Right. Let's go to the next question. Nice question again. Now, among hepatitis in general medicine, when we talk about viral infections, right, uh, we have discussed hepatitis in and out, okay, all the types, okay, what is responsible for what kind of hepatitis, which is the most common, uh, commonly spread parentally, which can cause neoplasia, okay, which is associated with uh, um, what do you say, pregnant, uh, disease, uh, mortality in pregnant females, everything has been discussed, okay, same question has been asked, which of the following hepatitis causes morbidity with a pregnant female? Okay, same question. See if you can see in our discussion. Young pregnant woman presents with fulminant hepatic failure. What is the etiological agent? Yes, the answer is hepatitis E. Okay, we have discussed this. I am very glad to know that if we look at the percentage of questions that have come in NEET MDS 2025, almost around 80% to 80 to 85% of questions have either come directly or indirectly from all the topics that we have discussed in MDS Conquer. Okay, from the starting, from the start where we start off with the uh, smallest of smallest, that is your smart videos and the evening discussions, followed by the topic specific exam that you give on that particular day to the uh, pro-life classes okay even if you have missed that the boot camp series as well the thorough revision that we had done uh, in the boot camp series after that through the grand test through the mock exams whatever we have done whatever important topics had to be stressed on we made sure that those topics are covered again and again and we are very glad that almost all the questions that have been picked up from the NEET uh, 2025 have come directly from those topics right so the importance of revision is very very much when we come to uh, uh, the uh, 25 2025 NEET exam and yes uh, Whatever we have covered the topics, whoever have followed them thoroughly have cracked the exams beautifully. That much I can say. I, I have that confidence in you guys. Okay. Let's go to the next one. 15 year old boy uh, after a traumatic injury he is complaining of pain and swelling in the joints again trying to put a clinical scenario bef uh, before you in the form of a case history okay he is not giving you anything directly okay he is giving you a symptom of pain and swelling in the joints okay and with the recurrent episodes since childhood okay so it has been present since childhood underlying causes Okay, definitely pain and swelling in the joints okay with recurrent episodes yes what is your answer yes everybody are correct it's hemophilia a same question we have given in our mock exams as well complaining of bleeding gums swollen with hemorrhage into the joints paternal and maternal uncle also have the same problem uh, meaning it is hereditary okay uh, just a clue it is due to deficiency of which factor that is factor eight right hemophilia which is a classical hemophilia right which is x-linked recessive carried out through factor 8 deficiency okay very nice question next again this multiple myeloma i must have covered multiple myeloma has been covered multiple times both by dr Srikant and myself okay so starting from the etiopathogenesis 
to all the probable histological presentations that is your mort cell your dacho body okay your russell body and what is the radiographic presentation that is your raindrop skull multiple punched out radiolucencies which are seen which are irregular that are seen in the mandible and the skull and what all uh, proteins that you find in the urine that is your benz jones proteins followed by the monoc monoclonal spike that you see everything has been dealt in detail so instead of asking you directly he has given you that a patient a 56 year old patient presented with multiple radiolucencies in the mandible this is shown on gel electrophoresis as you can see you can see the m spike what is the condition close your eyes just go for multiple myeloma it's a very good pretty easy question same question we have discussed monoclonal spikes are seen in which lymphoproliferative disorder right it is seen in multiple myeloma next question in a patient with leukemia post extraction bleeding is because of what okay same question has been discussed by dr shrikant if you can see he has left a voice note also for you okay since you cannot hear the voice note i will tell you what is the cause it is because of platelet deficiency thrombocytopenia thrombocytopenia is seen in leukemia is due to increase in wbc okay so whenever the wbc increase in the marrow the platelets have a deficiency okay because of the platelet deficiency the patients with uh, leukemia are prone to post extraction bleeding this is a very very important uh, question which we have already discussed so easily you can come to the answer next again so uh, talking about uh, wernicke's aphasia and broca's aphasia multiple times we have discussed the differences between both of them the question is on that only sensory aphasia which is fluent with neologisms that don't make any sense just blabbering okay uh, senseless blabbering that is caused that is uh, given out by the patient which area of brain is it seen in same question we have discussed okay it is wernicke's aphasia if you can see areas of the cerebral cortex involved in the generation of spoken language is broca's and wernicke lesion in broca is causes motor aphasia okay whereas wernicke causes sensory aphasia okay very easy question again you cannot go wrong in this question that is simple next question this is again a repeat question this is a repeat question neat 2024 paper neat mds 2024 paper has been discussed in detail and it is also uploaded in our website the the screenshot is from that same question was asked patient with spinal cord injury reported with loss of proprioception ipsilaterally on the same side and contralateral loss of pain and temperature okay this is again brown sequard syndrome explained very clearly okay in the boot camp series as well as in the neat mds 2024 repeat video that had been covered and it was actually a pro live online class which was uh, accessed by all of you and it was even uploaded in our website brown sequard syndrome it is clearly explained in the uh, class so it is a neurological condition where any lesion in the spinal cord will cause paralysis on one side of the body and loss on sensation and of pain and temperature on the opposite side okay so this is a very easy again a direct question a repeat question you cannot afford to go wrong in this question next one crydo chat syndrome i am not very much aware of what all was given in the question they just my students just told me ma'am they asked us the gene involved okay so this is from the general embryology this is a smart video okay and also this is a discussion forum that we had same question even i asked what is the genetic problem in crydo chat syndrome okay it is 5p deletion answer is 5p deletion right so very much easy direct question just you can close your eyes and answer this question next histopathological section is given below 
it shows positivity to which markers on immunohistochemistry now what are these cells how many times must i have discussed about this these are the owl eye cells okay owl eye cells are also called as reed sternberg cells okay reed sternberg or also called as dorothy reed cell right these are the names dorothy reed cell which are present in the hodgkin's lymphoma now the question is not to identify where it is seen he is asking you on immunohistochemistry what are the positive markers that you see same question we have given multiple times in our website if you can see positivity is shown by cd15 and cd30 my students didn't even give me the options they just told me ma'am we saw the our answer was there in the options we just went with cd15 and cd30 very very easy okay so apart from hodgkin's lymphoma where else do you see it you see it in infectious mononucleosis caused by cytomegalovirus okay, commonly seen in cytomegalovirus as well the owl eye cell okay next question the patient presented with a tumor in the premolar region of the mandible teeth are mobile in this region radiology reveals or mostly it's a bony tumor that they're talking about okay radiology reveal diffuse radiolucent area which was histopathologically seen as starry sky appearance okay starry sky appearance everybody all my students will tell me ma'am it's burkitt's lymphoma right it is a burkitt's lymphoma now he is not again asking you whether it's a burkitt's lymphoma or not he is asking you what is the gene that is responsible for the above diagnosis yes this is the smart video that was taken by dr saiti where we have discussed all the nuclear transcription factors that are involved in neoplasia in that if you see the myc gene again i do not know the options for this you guys can comment below in the comment box do you let me know the options for the cridu chat as well as for the cd15 and cd30 of hodgkin's lymphoma and for this as well so the answer is myc gene if particularly they ask you it is the cmyc gene okay nmyc gene is is seen in neuroblastoma and small cell carcinoma of the lung and L is seen in small cell carcinoma of the lung. We have told you that these are very very important markers that they can ask you in the exam. So, the answer is MYC gene. That was the end of this part. You can contact us on this number for any further information. Thank you very much. Keep following us. Keep watching us for much such such videos on YouTube as well as Instagram. Thank you. Have a nice day.